Be sure to check out FIFACoinsOnline.com for the best deals on FIFA coins for a place you know that you can trust. What's up guys, Kets here and welcome to Assembling Arsenal episode 6. There's a question mark above the 6, I'm not completely sure, but today we're going to get straight stuck into it. I have a few extra things to talk about in a little while, but I'm just going to talk straight now as we are looking at the some of the trades I've been making. Now, I didn't have too long to do this, I was a bit busy, so I haven't had much time to do uh, all that much trading. But as you can see here, I've made a little bit of profit. Uh, as you can see there, Boney, we won for 14k, you would have seen how much we sold for just now. Draxler, 13,250, sold for 16 Um Pienaar 12k which I think ended up selling for 16. We had a Jekko that we bought for 19 and sold for 23 in the end. Uh, we had the goalie there that we only ended up making like 750 profit on. They all sell in a minute after this game so we decided to go in a game whilst we sell the last few players and I didn't realise until now uh, just how bad his team was. 49 chemistry in I think it's Div 4. Uh, very very interesting. Not good at all to have such low chemistry. Uh, barely any players in the right formation or no links etc etc but as always, Podolski being probably the best player in the team, basically scored the first goal there, banging it off the crossbar and getting a lovely deflection as it went in for an OG. And that was how it was we went at half time. It was 1 0 with that single goal there, the Schmelzer own goal that came from the Podolski shot. But as you can tell, we had been all over them nine shots to two, six shots on targets to two. And this was uh, shown just after we kicked back off as Podolski once again. Almost net in a goal there. Uh, just about offside. The, the line, literally an amber line. But from the uh, the free kick that came from it, we managed to uh, get the ball back really quickly there with Diaby, who slotted through. Uh, was it Podolski? Yeah, it was Podolski, who had a, a nice little cutback and an easy finish there. He got his second of the game, kind of, if you count the own goal as his, which I suppose you probably can't do. Um, and he, he was uh, at it again there, setting up Giroud for a lovely screamer of a goal there, banging it into the top corner, giving us the 3-0 lead. It just seems to be so easy to win nowadays in these divisions. Uh, Sanya getting the ball there, playing it to Podolski, who of course wanted it back and scored a lovely, lovely goal. Weak foot, right foot there, slightly overhead, scissory kick thing. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant, breathtaking stuff there from Podolski. Now it's it's good, good, good. He was fantastic as always. And then Santi Cazorla had a shot there after beating the goalie and uh, Chambo finishing up on it and making it five nil. An absolutely massive win there. The perfect scoreline in terms of getting uh, getting as many as possible match coins. It's clean sheet and it's the five goals, which is where the coin limit drops. And uh, thirteen points meant we were promoted in five games, which is the quickest you can do it. Uh, so that is good news. I guess and those two players had sold then so we were up to 40k uh, with the player selling and with the uh, the title money so that's all good and I decided since we started to get a decent amount of money together now and we haven't bought any informs yet let's go pick up an inform and I know we've already got two cams in a one cam formation but I decided to go and pick up Rosicki nonetheless thinking uh, what we can do with this obviously now we're on to 15 players and uh, finally an inform which is fantastic uh, if you can see I kind of blocked it up a bit here but uh, we can now play like Santi on the left or the right and he'll get seven chemistry whilst we play Rosicki through the middle now of course that's not going to be ideal uh, for the long run but, to, but for now whilst we don't have left and right mids being able to have Santi on left and right uh, as he can play in real life and does play very frequently having him on the left and right on at seven chemistry is not bad at all uh, and he does still play very well there uh, almost as good as in cam so it definitely helps us out now. It doesn't mean we have to get any backup left or right mids. And we can continue to do rotation to keep players as fit as possible. Now, uh, we come up against this guy in the next game. Another relatively low chemistry one. This guy's got Jovetic at right wing. Two random players in the centre mid roles. A, a low chemistry Diego Alves in goal. And don't know who that is at centre back. Some random bronze guy. Uh, so that was hoping uh, to make it easier for me and to get a nice easy win. Again, as you can see there, we absolutely walloped it with Diaby. Earned ourselves a corner, which I took as quick as possible. And Dejuru got on the end of it. So I'm going to say now Dejuru and Giroud. That, that's how you're going to tell the names apart because they're very similar. I'll put more emphasis on the D with Dejuru. I'll say it like that. Whereas usually I, I used to say it Juru. And when you say Juru and Giroud, they sound so similar. So I'm going to say Dejuru and Giro. Okay, so just to clarify that now, uh, in case like you're I don't know, incapable of reading or something like that because I've had comments on it before. Um, so yeah, that's that. Anyway, we were 2 0 up now by the time I finished moaning. Um, 
And we made it 3-0 with a cross there to Rosicki's head on his debut, getting a goal. And as he was celebrating for it, the other guy obviously had enough. And as you can see here, he quit out. I sped it up a bit to try and go as quick as possible. But he quit out and we got the 3-0 win. Sadly, not the best amount of coins possible, just 400. But I suppose when we get in all the division bonuses, we can't complain. And our record now is up to uh, eight wins, one draw and two losses. And the two losses were when we had like a 50 Ken Bronze team. So we're basically nine games unbeaten since we've started actually getting goal players. But as you can see here, I made a few more changes. Uh, bought on Coquelin for Diaby, uh, bought Chambo back in, took Theo out for Santi to get a bit more, a uh, bit more fitness back again. And uh, we're going to go back into the next game. So uh, this is the third game and the last game of the episode. This guy actually has full chemistry. A Prem team uh, with Sarax Ferguson as the manager. And uh, 30 minutes in, as he always does, Podolski picks up the ball in a really good position. Cuts inside and uh, a lovely little goal there. A couple little cheeky sidesteps. But it's so easy to score goals with Podolski because he is just so good. He's I'd say he's up there with being the best strike on the game. But uh, this guy was actually, it seemed to be easier uh, in the first half at least than the other two people I played. Eight shots to one and seven on target to his zero. But uh, he seemed to play counter-attack in football well. As you can see here, a nice little pass there. I probably shouldn't have uh, brought my player to him. But uh, easy goal there for Suarez. He's going to score those all day, banging them at the keeper, making that one all. And now it's starting to get a little bit worrying because although I dominated, he was back in it. But uh, it didn't take too long for a ball to be threaded through to, yes, you guessed it, Podolski and a lovely, lovely cut inside there with a little like step over and turn in. Beautiful to make that 2-1 and uh, we, uh, we had the lead back and uh, hopefully we can keep that unbeaten run uh, going and you'd expect to do that when yet again Podolski scores another goal. I'm going to check his like stats in the next episode because already he's on a crazy amount of goals. That's his hat trick for this episode and uh, it wasn't quite over there. They did actually still pick up one more goal here but it's kind of irrelevant I suppose when you're winning uh, when we win uh, by the amount we do. He was a bit lucky to get it as well. Headed off the line and then the goalie went a bit bit stupid there and didn't really try to get to it but it finished 3-2 Podolski getting a hat trick and that is the end of this episode guys this is what the team is looking like at the moment obviously we've got the players on the bench to switch it all around but thank you very much for watching this episode guys please leave a like if you enjoyed it all support is absolutely fantastic we've got longer episode today as always uh, wished for so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it thanks as always for watching and I'll see you all next time bye bye